bantu Alright, the importance of being covert off the approach and being socially aware so that you don't blow out the location. I know I cover this a lot in, in many videos, but this is just another really important video. Um, because I've met up with quite a few gamers recently and almost all of them, not, not all, but a, a large percentage of them, are quite uncalibrated and they they think that opening up a 10 set of girls and just going straight in without any social awareness at all and blowing out the location is quote unquote alpha and if you think about it and you go in there and be a little bit more socially aware it's not quite alpha now this is the uh, a dying mindset that uh, I'm trying to unravel in the community. Um, a lot of men uh, have been taught the wrong way to do cold approach for a very long time. This is why they have such poor results and this is why um, I generally get better results than all of them. Now I've met up with a whole bunch of guys and they, uh, they've been in game and a lot of them have traveled all over the world. I've had a lot better success than all of them combined. Um, and one of the problems I identify is just social awareness and then just just going straight in like a bull in a china shop and just smashing up massive sets and just assuming that that, um, that is alpha and they're going to see that as confident when really they just see you as a bit of a fool. Um, but before we get into it, what do you think of my glasses? I just got these glasses and they seem to be doing okay with day game. And... Um, we're staying at this beautiful five-star hotel. Oh, it's absolute luxury here. And the, uh, the pool out the front, we've got a rooftop pool as well. It's, it's next level stuff. And uh, you pull and your pull to lay ratio is unbelievable when, you pull, when you're pulling to a place like this. So, Social awareness of the cold approach. Also, there's another thing. There's so many uh, beautiful girls that are from wealthy families staying in here. And there's been so many photo shoots around. Yesterday, they had a bunch of models having a photo shoot around the pool. Next level stuff. And um, we're meeting girls around the pool. It's uh, next level. Next level. It's great. But the point I'm trying to make here is that uh, some of the guys uh, will just go, okay, there's a girl, there's a group of girls, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to smash it up and then just like approach hardcore and just go boom straight in there. And then it doesn't hook, they, they might giggle a little bit because you're being uncalibrated, uh, and then he'll leave the interaction and he'll wonder why it's... Uh, he gets a flaky number, doesn't work out. It's because he's not looking at the situation, thinking about it, and trying to get in there in a socially aware fashion. So the girl doesn't think that you're uh, uh, kind of crazy, that there's something wrong with you. She doesn't, women don't actually look at it the same way that we do. Um, it's almost like there's this insecurity with a lot of the guys where they go, I'm afraid of approaching six girls, so therefore, if, if, if he approaches six girls and just smashes it up, then I'm projecting to the girls that I'm alpha and I don't really care. Uh, when in fact, women, they're not, they don't think that you're scared of approaching. It's not even in their reality. They don't, they don't, if you're afraid of approaching a girl, they're going to think that that's strange. They think that just going over and saying hello to anyone is not something that a man should be scared of and so what are these guys doing they're, they're projecting this almost like uh, this false reality and they're living in their own false reality that it's it's something that is uh, is scary to just go over and say hello to a girl and then if they do it 
then they legit believe that they're actually like um, projecting some sort of alpha behaviors when the girl never thought about that at all. So hopefully that kind of makes some sort of sense to you because if she doesn't think that it's alpha for you to come, go over and say hello to a girl and she doesn't think that um, it's something uh, scary and that she thinks that any man, any horny man can go over and approach 10 girls and it's not going to be an issue for him, then why uh, would she then in her reality see you approach her group of friends and then instantly think that you're, um, you're alpha or something when it's not even in her reality? Actually, look at these look at these sports cars. I think that's a Bentley there as well. They're all just sports cars. What's that? That's a that's a Porsche. There's a whole bunch of nice cars here. This does help with your pull to lay ratio. You pull a girl back here, and then you're more likely to uh, get laid. Definitely. Um, it's uh, it helps with the lay. The the pull to lay ratio massively um, and that's that's an advantage that guys with money do do have clearly but um, you can overcome that with just sheer volume of pulls and that's why when I think about pulls I think I count the pulls more than the lays because a lot of the times you can you can have awesome game and be pulling in and not be wealthy and you're pulling back to an average place and there's something about your place and she's like, oh, I don't want to see this guy anymore. She rules you out because of some, some reason and it's out of your control. Um, and so therefore, why should you be blamed for that or uh, penalized when you're actually doing quite solid game by pulling in the first place? Look at all the koi here, a whole bunch of koi. About it's about 50 koi inside here. That's hard to maintain, I know. So the, the end result of this discussion, I need to point it out to you guys, is um, think about it before, I gotta get out of the way of this car. Think about it before you get into set. Look around. Look at what is happening with the interaction with the girls. Are they, if they're in the middle of a, 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 a deep and meaningful conversation and you, and they're having a serious conversation and then you just smash it out and just ram in there with a different vibe, high energy, that's not going to help with your flake rate, is it? It's not going to help with, uh, after you number close a girl, uh, her getting back to you because she's gonna think about that interaction and go, this guy had no social awareness. So to sit back and adjust to the situation, isn't you being scared? That's a ridiculous mindset. It's not you not being alpha, it's not you being beat up. It is you just adjusting to the situation, adjusting to the vibe, looking to see if, um, you should or shouldn't approach in that situation maybe you should step back and observe a little bit longer maybe they're leaving now you know as soon as they uh, separate then go in for the approach adjust to the situation adjust and um, don't just cram it straight in there and just like ram it up because I keep seeing that I, I'm seeing that here um, I've met up with a bunch of gamers that um, are doing that and um, even though my results are 10x their results, um, they still believe that they're doing the right thing and you know that's great because um, I've got a lot of, there's, there's no one out there teaching this. I'm literally the only one in the world teaching this. Um, proper uh, calibrated approaches and proper indirect, proper smooth, covert approaches. I'm literally the only person in the world actually teaching this. And if you meet up with me in person you, um, and you call yourself a gamer, you realize that um, I'll outgame you even if you're 20 years younger than me. Um, unless you're just so good looking that all the girls are gonna go flock to you. And then that's not really game, is it? 
Uh, that's black pill. That's uh, that's the majority of the coaches out out there that are just tall, good-looking guys in their twenties or right in their early thirties, and now they've got a lot of money and they're shit and they don't know what they're doing. So to end with this, if you want to learn some proper cold approach, you know where to go. Right here with me. Reach out to me, and we'll get started on teaching you some proper cold approach. I'll see you guys in the next video.